So this is how we run. We run in our pretty clothes, the ones we put on earlier to attract love. We run with our hair streaming out behind us. We run as quietly as possible so no one hears us. But sometimes they hear us. It is called the wild hunt when they come for us, or the wilding. We are girls and women who are out alone, who are out at night, who are not rewarded for being kind to strangers as the fairy tales once taught us. We are girls and women who were unlucky. Sometimes we are boys too. We have no magic powers. We have no amulets of protection. No one has cut crosses into the stumps of trees to keep us safe. Would that even keep us safe? We no longer believe in fairy tales, but we will learn to believe in monsters. I ran that night in the rain away once more from the house I had loved and toward the man who was the reason I had loved it. I ran for Jenny too, though I still doubted whether anything I did could help her anymore. As I ran, the rainfall grew heavier. Drops of water blinded me. Soon it was a storm roaring in my ears like the voices of giants. I don't know if what happened that night really happened to me or how it did, if it did, in spite of the evidence that I would soon hold in my hands. But I could have been feeling so guilty about everything that had gone before. I had let down my mother, then John, and Jenny, always Jenny. Now I was back, maybe stronger, but still running, and perhaps more deranged than ever. Maybe that is why these things happened that night, or I believe they did. He was there before I knew as I came down into the flatlands, the car parked blocking my way, and the passenger door opened. I slid to a stop. The night was so dark. I couldn't see myself except the vague glow of my white dress plastered to my body like the marble folds of a gown on a statue. I was shivering and the car was warm, I remember that. The heater was on in the car and it felt warm compared to the night that shook me. A hand. It pushed me down so that my face pressed into the cracked, bristling leather smell of cigarettes and mold. I thought, I'm going to die. <laughs>